Shade by Faith on WOMI. Each Friday, Saturday, and Sunday here on WOMI, join Teresa for motivational, encouraging, and inspiring interviews with special guests. Also, listen to the workout of the week, exercises that suit you any time of the day. Shade by Faith on WOMI and online at WOMIOwensboro.com. Now, here's Teresa Rowe. Welcome to Shade by Faith. I'm Teresa Rowe, and Merry Christmas, everyone. It's Christmas and Christmas weekend, and I have a special guest in the studio today. We came to work on Christmas. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's Brett. It is. What's going on? He's from the CB radio show. He's on, what, five days a week? Uh, Every day? I am. Yeah, Monday through Friday. Okay, that's a lot. So what time do you have to get up? Oh, man, I get up at uh, about 4.30. Oh, wow. What time do you go to bed? Uh, about 8.30. <laughs> you have to. You have to be very disciplined. I had Brett do, um, and I had no idea he had an injury. I had him do an exercise, actually the 12 days of fitness. Yeah. And, um, yeah, had no clue that you had a sprained ankle. How did that happen? Um, a couple weeks ago, our friend Jacqueline, who's on WBKR right after Chad and I on the CB radio show, she was like, she just got new furniture because she had to get the old stuff out of there. Uh-huh. And, um, so my buddy Chuck and I, we were carrying this couch out, and her yard in the front, it's like down, flat, and then it goes down again to oh, the city rocks. sidewalk. I see. And uh, I had that couch in my hand, and my ankle touched yeah. the ground. Oh, Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember feeling the concrete on my ankle. I was like, that's not good. And then every ligament, every bit of pain just shot straight through my leg. It hurt really bad. Oh. Yeah. Did you continue helping her move? Uh, well, we, we got the we got the uh, – we got the couch in the truck, and then that was over with, and I went and sat down. Wow. Okay. And the icing, the icing process began. So you're going to ice. Okay. A friend of mine's a PT. Actually, I've had her on Shape by Faith before, um, Gail Parker. Uh, she could definitely help you out. But um, what she told me to do when I sprained my ankle before, and I've sprained it several times, she said do like a bowl of really, really cold water with ice in it, mm -hmm. and then do warm water. And she said you go from cold to warm and it takes that swelling out hmm. and not that i didn't believe or anything but right. you know i tried it and it actually works so, that's awesome yeah and you can continue doing that for weeks i mean cool. if you want to on christmas <laughs> <laughs> well since this is the christmas show we're definitely going to talk about christmas so um you know brett i just want to ask you some things sure. we can go back and forth with it that's fine but when you think of Christmas, like what comes to your mind? Um, family for sure, and I mean, when I was a little kid, it didn't look anything like that. And I think that's mm -hmm. the same story for everybody because, you know, when you're a little kid, you just want to wake up, get downstairs, and start oh. opening presents. Oh yeah. Yeah, but um, you know, after you get a job and you got to start spending your own money <laughs> on people's gifts, you're like, you know what? I would rather just spend time with my family. And that's, that's right. That, that's not exactly a. Is how exactly it goes, but um. And we still like presents. Oh yeah, I mean, but, I, yeah. Yeah. I love getting them. And I love giving them. Mm -hmm. Um, but being away from home, these times are really, really sweet when I get to go up there. And uh, I mean, because those of you that don't know, I mean, I, I've worked on OMI for two years, and most of you know that I live seven and a half hours away from here. So. Yeah, that, that that can be rough at times. It's a drive during the holidays for sure. Yes. Yeah. So what are you doing on Christmas? Uh, today we are um, <laughs> we are um, probably gonna wake up. We're gonna go over to my sister's house a little bit later, and um, ever since my sister Ashley bought a house, we've been going over there okay. and having having Christmas there. And uh, it's just a central location. She's got little kids and stuff like that, so you know, mm -hmm. just Christmas, kind of helping her out. We just go over there, we hang out, and have dinner, and a couple glasses of wine, and just sit around and yeah, have Christmas have together. Family yeah, time together. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite memory that you want to share? Anything memory. that happened? Uh, let's see. It, it was kind of a traditional kind of thing. Um, the um, We have this four-lane road that goes out to our house. And the one traditional thing that we always did, because it's Christmas, it used to be 15 degrees, and now I, I don't, can't remember a chilly Christmas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, I mean, Easy. chilly, I think, is below 20 degrees. Yeah. That's yeah, why I wear shorts and flip flops cold. every single day. I know. You're, you're wearing a Shape by Faith hoodie and shorts and flip flops, obviously, because you've got a injury, though. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, flip flops, if, if you guys are looking for some uh, 
kiss. It's not the, it's not the <laughs> best support not. on the ankle. What about a boot? Should uh, we wear like a boot to I support was that air cast or something? Apocalyptically and just extraordinarily stubborn when it comes to this kind of stuff. Because I grew up with my dad, and he was just like, oh, you know what? I've got some dirt on us. I can't die. He's from the old school. Uh-huh. So yeah, I, 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 didn't, I didn't go to the doctor. I, I got an ace bandage and went from there. Gotcha. Okay, but you still need to ice it, okay? And try that warm water stuff, too. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay. You know, when I think about Christmas, I definitely think about family. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do. We've, we've got a rather large family now, and uh, it kind of saddens me that my daughter's over in Belgium for Christmas yeah. and uh, my other daughter's in Thailand, um, although we did get to see them this summer in October. So that's like five of our grandchildren right there, yeah. you know. Yeah. So it's just not the same without them, but but we still have um, you know grandchildren here. So we just um, my daughter Candace, she was born on Christmas. Oh really? Yeah. You know the story about that. Um, of course, I'm pregnant. Um, going to premature labor um, two months before she was born. Yeah. Her actual due date was in February. Wow. Like, seriously, someone messed <laughs> that up. But, um, yeah, I'm standing um, in the back of church. I'm living in Omaha, Nebraska, and we decided to go to their midnight mass. I love those. Yeah, yeah. So we we're, we got there. Uh, I don't know what time we got there. Um, sometime after 11. Mm -hmm. And I, my um, husband is parking the car. There's like eight feet of snow on the ground. Okay, so he lets me off. Of course, uh, I'm pregnant. I'm big. I've got right. a long coat on. And um, there's priests standing in the back and the altar boys, and they're getting ready to walk down the aisle because we're running kind of late. And I heard this swoosh, like swoosh. Swoosh. I'm like, what in the world? And I look down, there's water oh my. underneath me, and my water broke. <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't experience that with my first baby. So then the priest just turns around and looks at me and says, are you okay? <laughs> I said, oh, I think I'm having a baby. So, um, yeah, needless to say, um, you know, we got to the hospital off at Air Force Base. It really wasn't that far from where we were. And they said, there's no time to give you an epidural. Oh, I was, my. I was. Oh yes. So you just went. Yeah, I'm up. all about if you're having if you're having a baby, just give me the pain medicine, give me an epidural. You know what I'm saying? That natural stuff. Hey, if you want to do that, that's great. Yeah. But for me, I do not like pain. So um, Candace was coming, whether I wanted to her to come or not, right then. <laughs> yeah. So, Holy um, cow. Yeah, and I was ready to have her, and they made me wait. They're like, no, we really want a Christmas baby. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is killing me. Yeah. And so um, a few minutes before 12, I said, well, I, got, I have to right now. 13, don't push, don't push. We want a Christmas baby. There were no babies in the nursery at all. At 12.08, she was born. The doctor is, um, I had an episiotomy. Uh, that's where you kind of rip from stem to stern. Okay. Yeah, it was pleasant. And the doctor is sewing me up, and I'm asking her, can I go home? Because, like, it's Christmas. Right. I mean, is the, is the baby okay? And, like, she's, and she was really cool about it. She said, you know what? If the baby's fine, because she was seven pounds. Right. There's no oh, way she could have been in February. If, um, if the baby's fine and I feel like you're fine and your vitals are fine, I'll send you home. I'm about to go home. Wow. Yeah, because my daughter was flying in from Kentucky with my sister to see her little sister, uh, but to spend Christmas with her. So, yeah. yeah. So, let's see here. Uh, you said 12.08, right? Yeah, 12.08. So that, that's, I mean, obviously, it's technically Christmas. Do they hit the stopwatch when the head crowns or when the feet come out? Good question, Brett. I didn't <laughs> ask them. <laughs> we need to look that up, though. That's interesting. Maybe, I don't maybe know. Maybe it's when the scissors go through the umbilical cord. I don't think so, because that, then that, they wait, like, a few seconds for that. Possibly. For like a, yeah. So I'm not really sure. Who knows? Yeah, but all I know is 12.08. <laughs> I'll Google that one later. Yeah, and they brought her to me after they cleaned her up, uh -huh. and I still had it in this huge stocking. Wow. I mean, they, they thought it was special because uh -huh. there was no babies in the nursery up there at all, and they were real excited about it, and they actually wanted me to stay an extra day, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, it's Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it's Christmas, so it all went well. So that was my Christmas memory. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, you mentioned Midnight Mass a couple of minutes ago, and we 
I mean, we just loved that. We loved every bit of that. St. John's Catholic in Marietta. And we did it every year. We all went. We would go to Grandma Carol's for um, Christmas Eve. And then uh, we go to church. That's special. I mean, there's, there's nothing like that I I mean, to experience it in the moment. We're going to take a break.